Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. I'm St. Edwards, and I'm glad you are back to join me in this new lesson. So we're on to lesson 2.7 in the book, App Development with Swift. And in this particular lesson, we're going to talk about uh, UI Kit, and we're going to go over the different views um, that are associated uh, with UI Kit, specifically, you know, all of the things that you can do um, on the storyboard. So go ahead and open up a new project and you can name it whatever you like and you can save it to your projects folder and we're going to get started. All right. So I am in the storyboard right now. And as you can see, um, you know, we just have a blank white canvas right now. You may be asking yourself, what exactly is UIKit? So UIKit defines how you display your information to, to the user and then it also you know, gives you the ability to respond to the user's interactions and different system um, interactions as well. And so we're going to get into that. Um, everything basically within UIKit is based off of the, you know, the view controller class. And there are different, uh, you know, subclasses within, you know, the UI view controller. And one of those classes is the UI view. All right. So go over to your objects library and type in UI view in the bottom of in the search bar and you're going to see that you know the view pops up now if you drag a view onto the screen onto your canvas and uh, go ahead and stretch it out uh, to the full length of your um, of your device and as you can see the you know the view is it's filling up the device now it's filling up the whole area and right now I'm on an attributes inspector. So go ahead and click on your attributes inspector. And we're going to talk, talk about the different properties, you know, in which you can change uh, from the attributes inspector uh, in the different views that we're going to talk about, which is uh, this one is one of them. We're going to talk about labels, uh, table views, scroll views, and uh, even the uh, text, the uh, text views as well. All right. So a UI view starts off uh, clear. And, you know, so it's basically, you know, it's, it's obviously, you know, a rectangle in shape. It doesn't have um, any background right now. So you got to make sure you give it a color. As you can see right now, it's white. <clears throat> so, so you can, you know, you can give it any color you want to. I'm just going to go, uh, I'll just go with the light gray color for right now. All right. So, uh, you know, you can see that you can change your background color. Um, the alpha, uh, you can set this to zero and zero will make this go away you know, the gray color go away and it'll go back clear. And then you can go back to one. If you set it to one, it'll be visible again. All right. So that's really what the alpha uh, property does. The tag property up here, um, this gives you the ability uh, to set different um, numbers for different objects on the storyboard. So you may have several different objects uh, within this view and you can give them all different types of uh, tag numbers so you can refer to them in code uh, to make it easier for you to manipulate, you know, the data that you are, um, you know, you're using it for basically. Um, you got the scale to fill mode right now. Uh, as you can see, you can change the different aspects of how the content is presented. Um, so there's so much that you can do with that. Another uh, view that we're gonna talk about is labels. So go ahead and search labels. Search UI label and then you just put it anywhere on your canvas. And as you can see, so UI label, oh, I'll just stretch it out. But so UI labels gives you the ability to provide uh, one line of text. It could be it could be multiple lines, but um, usually just one line of text that you can use and put into your uh, storyboard. All right. And so up here, uh, starting at the top. You got the text. You can do plain, or you can do uh, attributed, and it'll kind of change some things around. As you can see, I went to attributed, and some other uh, you know type of properties popped up, and so you can change uh, the way that it is uh, aligned. Um, and when you select that, uh, you can obviously do the label. You can change the label to a different um, text or title as well 
um, it can show different number of lines uh, but you would have to stretch it out like if you wanted to show two or more lines the way that we have it right now it'll only show one line so you can make it show multiple lines of, of uh, text if, if you want it but remember you got to stretch it out um, you can also change the font and the color to different um, uh, text colors um, you got your baseline uh, the line breaks auto shrink uh, so many different capabilities um, here for UI labels all right so I'm just gonna get rid of that as we keep moving on so I'll just delete that the next thing we're gonna briefly talk about is an image view so go ahead and type image view into the objects library and place that on the storyboard and a UI image view um, basically displays an image. So just like a UI label displays text, a UI image view displays an image. So that's very important to know because sometimes people get that confused. Um, but yeah, so so when you have your um, photos or, or something that's uh, imported into your app that will usually be in the assets folder over here, the blue folder over the navigation file, uh, you'll be able to select the image view uh, panel and then you can go over here um, in the attributes inspector and you can set that image by you know hitting the drop down carrot right there um, you can even do a highlighted image which basically allows you to um, select a different image once uh, you know the actual image is you know is tapped on or clicked on by the user so you can do that as well and then you will select the state you know highlight it and a different accessibility as well image you know it, it can adjust to the uh, to the size uh, the view, uh, the content mode is very important too. A lot of the times, uh, which, well, it all depends. So, so it's defaulted to scale to fill, but there may be times where you want to do aspect fit or aspect fill. And we'll get more into that as we um, go through these lessons. And that, and also as a developer, as you're learning, and as you're going, you can kind of see, especially when you build and run your apps in this simulator, you'll, you know, you'll know, you know, hey, that, you know, seems a little bit too stretched out or it's not stretched out enough. Uh, you can change your different, um, you know, your your content mode to fit to what you want it to look like. And also, again, you got the tag um, uh, property as well. You can set a different tag to refer to this. Um, so it's, you know, it's easier to refer back to it once you're doing something in code. And, and you, you know, we may see examples of that uh, later on this course as well. Um, alpha, uh, you know, that's there again. You know, you can set the background color. You got the tent, uh, so much more. All right, so I'll get rid of that. Um, let's type in uh, text view down in the objects library again. So text view um, allows you to display large amounts of text uh, in your app. So we, so I'm pulling and just stretching this out. As you can see, there's you know there's more to see, but you know, you would usually see, you know, use a text view, like if you were building an email app, like right now on, on our iOS devices, we got, you know, we have the email app and that's basically what this is. Um, what's involved in the email app is a text view because, you know, you can, you know, obviously type, you know, very, very lengthy emails. Um, so we have the ability to do that through a text view. And uh, again, up here at the very top in the attributes inspector, once the text view is selected, um, you can see that you know you can go plain, or you can go attributed, um, and you can set your different alignments and, and all that good stuff. And uh, I'll go back, and you know you can do your color, you can change your font, um, you know the different behaviors. Um, if if you know if it was a uh, you know, a phone number, you can change, you can select that and it will change some things around for you. Um, there are also different properties uh, down here um, that can, uh, you know, that go along with the text views, like, you know, capitalization, you know, for sentences, you know, like if it's, you know, if it's starting off, you know, the user doesn't have to, and I know you've noticed this too with your iOS devices, uh, once you start off a sentence, you don't necessarily have to type, you know, a capital letter, you know, it'll do it for you. So that's what that's for the capitalization. You got the auto correction there, smart dashes, like all different types of things, the keyboard types, uh, keyboard look, uh, you could change so much just from, uh, you know, the storyboard without having to do it in code. So it just makes it, you know, it makes it a lot easier 
or uh, you know for us at times to to do a lot of this stuff right here uh, in the storyboard all right so that's text views um, another thing that we're gonna talk about is scroll views so search scroll type scroll down in the bottom of the objects library and pull that up um, what scroll views are used for is when you have content that is too large for the screen or whatever area that you set for the scroll view and you still want the user to you know to see it and interact with it so you can have scroll views um, you know they're very useful and you can do a horizontal um, indicator a, a horizontal scroll or you can do a vertical scroll uh, you can also cut that you can turn it off it still you know it doesn't mean that it won't show uh, what it or it does mean that it won't show but it doesn't mean that uh, the scroll is turned off um, but if, if you turn the scrolling enabled off if you uncheck that box uh, that will over here in the attributes inspector uh, you got the bounce you got the bounce effect you know if you scroll you know to the very top or the very bottom and you know in your release you've probably seen that a lot in your apps and and you know different apps you know to where like it'll you know do like a little bounce effect uh, that bounce on zoom uh, a lot of different uh, attributes a lot of different properties that you can set or uh, uncheck in the scroll view as well all right so we're going to get rid of that and we're going to talk about some table views so table views are very popular in apple uh, or an apps period uh, we see table views everywhere so drag you know type in table views in the objects library and pull that onto your screen and uh, you can stretch it out go ahead and stretch it out to to the four corners and so you've seen table views and and almost everything so uh, what you may interact with a lot is probably the messages app so so our text messages app is uh it's basically a large scroll view or a big table view and and you know so it displays you know like a long list of data um in a you know in a column and row uh, type fashion and so uh, these are very very useful and and even like that you know the music app and uh just so many different apps uh use uh table views like even something like uh something like instagram or or you know you know or facebook you know, Twitter, you know, so many different apps uh, use table views and uh, you can uh, have cells inside of the table views and you can manipulate the cells. You can customize the look and feel of table views to, you know, to really how you want it to look uh, down to, you know, very, very minute details. And there's just so much that you can do with these things. They're very, very customizable and uh, very user friendly. And as you can see, uh, the properties here are vast. Um, so you can do a lot of different things with table views as well. All right. So guys, that's it with, for this lesson. Make sure you, you know, you practice on your own. These are just some of, you know, just a few, uh, views that we will, you know, use in this course and, and really some of the most popular views that you will use as a developer. So make sure you play around a little bit on your own. Stay tuned for the next one. Where we're going to talk about the different controls. This is St. R. Edwards with the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. Thank you guys for joining me. Take care.